Welcome back to Bad X Bourbon. I'm Bobby. So, real quick. Son of a bourbon. Damn smooth. My wife and I belong to Napa Valley Distillery Club. Right? We get stuff shipped to us every quarter, every four months. They sent me this like two weeks ago. They sent this to us. It says 80 proof on it. So I'm just letting it sit there. I'm like, man, it's probably, it says damn smooth. So it's like, is it smooth like Basil Hayden? It's so smooth because it's 80 proof, right? So to me, that's not smooth. It's just low proof. It is what it is. Everyone's got their opinion on it. So today I said, hey, me crack it open, see what it's all about. I cracked this thing open and it smells good. I'm like, a little bit of ethanol smell, but I'm like, this smells sweet. Like a candied orange with, you know, let me, let me just break into it, right? Let me, let me show you and tell you, all right? It smells good. You can see, <laughs> you can see. I just opened this today. It's only a 375 milliliter bottle, but that's what's left of it. I wasn't the only one that drank it, but maybe other than like a glass of it, but it's good. It is an easy sipper. I think I've had enough, but I'm gonna get through this video, all right? Nice, synthetic cord. Yeah, it is what it is, right? So, son of a bourbon. So this thing, smelling this thing, it's like, it smells like a candied orange. And vanilla, it smells like a creamsicle, those sidewalk Sunday creamsicles, right? 50-50 bars, how they called them in the old days, right? Well, that's what my parents called it. Yeah, it's so sweet on those, like I said, like a candied orange, a little bit of caramel, not a whole bunch. And the color of it is different. It's a nice bronze orange color. I don't know if you guys see that or not. Nice amber. Really nice. So I was completely surprised by that. Like I said, there's not much left. And we had an order coming for next quarter. You can change it up a little bit if you want. We changed that sucker right up. We got another one of these coming. And Napa Valley Distillery, their Demerara sauce for their old fashions. Oh my goodness, that is off the charts right there. That is the best Demerara sauce on the planet. So you, if you don't know about Napa Valley Distillery, I'll put the description in the comments box, right? Or the, I'll put the, the link in the description box. That I'll do that, right? That's, that's a little bit better. But you can Google it too, right? Look it up. It's delicious. So on the nose, I told you you got a little creamsicle, orange, candied orange. Let's go for the palate. Yeah. Oh man. See, it must have some higher rye in it or something. Cause I got that all over the tongue. Nice warm sensation. It goes away fast. It's not a whole big finish on it. I will say that. But on the tongue, man, that's like a 50-50 bar. Creamsicle. Orange vanilla creamsicle on the tongue. All across a little bit right now i'm getting a little bit on the sides of the tongue a little bit of that leathery aftertaste maybe a hint just a hint of that uh tennessee whiskey nut not a lot not disturbing at all but it's there but mostly it's that creamsicle i'm like dang this is good really good man that smell if you go back for a smell after two it's really good i gotta hand it to him I wasn't expecting much out of this. And it's it's not bursting everywhere, but you know, maybe it was my uh, lack of thinking it would be much. Maybe that pumped it up a little bit in my head too, because it surprised the crap out of me. Yeah, that's really good. For what it is, it's really good. It's members, it's like 30 bucks, right around there. Uh, 
like I said, I'll put the link in the description box. But uh, you know what else I got? I got this hat. Two hats I got like this. These are the host hats. I keep putting the link in the description box to West Broad Apparel. Man, West Broad Apparel is kicking butt with these hose hats. In case you know, I'm a fireman. That's my real job. This right here is an actual fire hose. They will hook it up. You see right here, I'm an airport firefighter, right? Crashes are the old school name for it. That's my, my station number and my rig number. So it's Crash 56. My battalion chief, Ricky King, hooked me up with this hat and has actually hooked me up with West Broad Apparel to show these things off. They've been shouting me out on Instagram. Uh, thank you very much, West Broad Apparel. You are way too kind, but I am more than happy to do this. Owned by a firefighter, and they are putting these things out. They make other hats too, called, uh, I think, Shield Hats. Go check out their website. It is incredible too. Cool hats. I'm actually looking to them now to make uh, my more of my hats. My battalion chief made me a Bad Axe Bourbon hat, which is cool, really cool, and I thank him for that. But I'm also going to have some made for people to buy if they'd like to do so with my logo and, and brand on it as well. Uh, also, if you guys haven't checked out Justin from Whiskey Decision, Instagram, Whiskey Decision. Man, he's got the data, oh my goodness, on all kinds of bottles, where they came from, barrel manufacturers, how they do the, the barrels, what they do to them. Go to Instagram, look up Whiskey Decision, it's gonna be a nice chromatic uh, picture with awesome data on it. Check out uh, Whiskey Decision. West Broad Apparel, Whiskey Decision, Napa Valley Distillery. So, this is delicious, but you know, it, it's lacking. It It's a nice sipper and it's a nice conversation piece, that son of a bourbon, but I'm gonna give it Three and a half axes, right? Three and a half. I think it's really good for what it is. That's my three and a half right there. All right? Three and a half axes. And I think we're going to leave it right there. Three and a half axes on the son of a bourbon. Damn smooth. 80 proof. I'm going to try to contact them for Mashville. Uh, we're actually going to try to contact them to get a little distillery tour and hopefully do an episode there at Napa Valley Distillery and actually do some distillery tours and take you guys inside of these distilleries as well. There's some in El Dorado Hills, Napa Valley, Sonoma, all over the place. We have fun going there. We want to share that with you guys. If that's something you'd like to see, let us know in the comments. And that's it. So, what do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Till next time.